Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And I'm just gonna show you a quick, easy little meal you can put together that don't, doesn't take a long time. And we're gonna use um, instant cornbread mix. I got free from Abada. Check out my Abada link. I'll put it in the um, description. So I have that in this pan. And then here, um, in this pan, I just threw in some frozen chicken that I had in my freezer because it was frozen and I hadn't planned this. So I threw it in frozen and it just thaws out itself in the water. I threw celery, onions, and a bunch of seasoning, salt, pepper, um, parsley, and basically that's it. So what I'm going to do is just take these out of here and put them over here on this pan. And we're going to put these in the oven. Some wings. I don't want to put that in there. It won't hurt anything, but let's just leave it out. And I'm going to season these up. And we're going to have some nice chicken and stuffing. So I'm going to use this complete seasoning by Bedelia. I just love this stuff. I'm just going to sprinkle that around. And I'm going to put them in like that upside down and then flip them over so the tops can get crispy. Okay, so then this is my stock that I'm going to use in the stuffing and I can save some, use it for gravy, or just freeze what I, I didn't use. And it's just, like I said, celery, onions, give it flavor. And then in this pan, I have just chopped up celery and onions with a little salt and pepper just to give some flavor. That's going to be um, to, to go in the stuffing mix. And then I also have a pan of um, zesty hot sausage. And we're going to put all that in there, grease and all. So that makes it flavorful. So then I just like to take a couple ladles of this. And I leave mine big, but you can cut yours up smaller if you want. But we like them big and chunky. <laughs> So don't yell at me and say those are way too big. And we like a lot. And so, yeah, and so we're getting some of that broth in there as well. Celery and onion broth is good. Okay. And then let me show you how good this looks. Look at that. Look at that deep color just from the chicken. And we're just going to put some of that in there. Mmm. Mmm. And I'm going to make some green beans to go with this that I also got free from Abada. <laughs> Sign up for that Abada app, guys. You get a free Thanksgiving dinner that, that um, that's expired now, but they always have these great deals on there. Okay, so now I'm going to put some poultry seasoning because I just love poultry seasoning. And I probably put double of what you guys would probably put in yours, so... Couple of tablespoons. Some black pepper, because that goes so well with the the poultry seasoning. And salt, but I don't see the salt. Well, I'm gonna have to get that in a minute. Um, and then I got three eggs. There's one. I always love making stuffing. It always takes me back to when we were kids. And we were making stuffing in the kitchen when we used to toast the bread in the toaster first and then break it all up. And I used to love to watch those eggs go in. I don't know what it is about that. So let me grab my salt. Okay, so I put a teaspoon of salt in there, guys. But you might have to um, check it and see if you need a little bit more. But I'm going to get this all stirred up. And I can already tell it's way too dry, so we're going to need more liquid. And that's just, I just keep mixing and mixing until you see how loose you want it. Some people like theirs dry. It depends. Some people want theirs loose. Now, I like mine loose because that way when it's in the oven, it dries up and it thickens up. And that way, it'll be, to me, the right consistency. But do it how you normally do it. Okay. 
And the flavor is, this is so simple, but the flavors are so good. Mmm, look at that, you guys. Ugh. So I got my oven on 350, so I just put those chicken in. And they've already boiled a little in the pan for about a half hour to make the stock. So I'm going to see how long, oh, you might, I'm going to see how long those take. But I have them on 30 minutes right now. And then this I'm going to put in on 350 for 30 to 40 minutes too, or just see how long it takes. And I might even put it in my little cup, cupcake um, pan and make little cupcake stuffings. Sounds good. And then that way you get that crispiness on the outside of each bite and the softness in each in the inside. But either way, you know, just cook it until it's heated up because everything's already pretty much cooked. The sausage I cooked took me a couple minutes. While I was doing that, I cut up the celery and onions, had the pan of broth on the on stove, and um, just took me a few minutes. Opened up my can of cranberries, and then when this goes in the oven, I'm going to start my beans. And yeah, so I'll have a nice little complete dinner made up in no time. I'm going to get this completely stirred, and I'll show you how I like to have mine. All right, so I put a whole nother ladle in there. So that's how I like to have mine, nice and loose like that. Okay, and then I'll be back with the next step. Okay, go in there. Look at that, guys. So I just want you to see that I do have it really loose because it, it dries up in the oven. So either do it in this pan, put... um butter or some kind of oil or in the muffin pans put some kind of butter or oil so they don't stick that way they pop right out and plus it makes it so much easier to clean the pan okay guys so i just greased this um cupcake pan i greased this pan and put the rest of the um stuffing in there and i just took a half a cup measuring thing and just filled them up simple simple like that and i filled mine up pretty high because i want big muffins and I'm going to put these in the oven, and I'll let you know how long they take. Okay, guys. Now, everything's in the oven. And I put my green beans in a um, glass uh, bowl that can go in the oven. I'm going to put my mashed potatoes in a glass-proof oven dish. I got my stock all ready to go in the freezer. And with the Avada deal, I got the loaded um, family size. There it is. <laughs> family size. So to make these potatoes, it's so simple. You just get a pot of boiling water, which I just took off the stove, and you just add the entire package. That's it. There's nothing else. You don't add nothing else. No salt, no butter. But of course, I'm going to um, put butter in mine. Add butter. I was trying to get out. Okay, so look at that. It just goes together just like that, and it's practically done. And then I got the green beans also from Ibotta. I got my cranberry sauce, so this is my practically free Ibotta dish, except they ran out of the turkey, and I'm not using the cream and mushroom soup, but I did get a can of that. So yeah, look at that, done. I mean, you can't ask for a simple, now I don't ever normally make this for Thanksgiving instant mashed potatoes, I don't even eat instant mashed potatoes, but we had them, oh, I, I do like them. I grew up, my mother used to make those ones with the little flakes and butter and add milk. And if you put them in the oven, it takes them to a whole new level. They just taste so much better because they get really hot and they're just so good in the oven. But I usually make fresh potatoes for Thanksgiving. So that's all I'm going to do for those. I'm going to put it in this dish and add some butter. Okay, so they're all ready. I'm going to put aluminum foil on them. Pop them in the oven. They're already cooked, so they just have to heat up. Well, for be ready and heat it for dinner. But these are already completely cooked, and you see I put a big pad of butter. I'm going to swirl that around, get that everywhere. And, uh, yeah, so almost done, guys. It's only taken us, like, a, not even an hour to put this all together. Guys, everything's done. The muffins cooked about a half hour, 40 minutes. And they stuck to my pan, even though I greased it. So I'm waiting for them to cool a little bit more. I think if they sit longer, they will, they'll come out better. Because that was the first one, and then I waited a couple minutes, and then that one. So they're still going to be delicious, but let them sit, I think, for a little bit. And then here is our delicious dinner. 
are practically free. I bought a dinner. Now the chicken I just pulled out of my freezer because I didn't get the free turkey because um, the store ran out of the turkeys. But I got the mashed potatoes free, the green beans free, the stuffing mix free. I just used my own sausage and my own onions and celery. I even got two things of stock. Wait till they cool down. You can put them in your freezer. And it's time to eat. Look at this. Delicious. All right, guys. I'm going to take you in so you can just see how nice. Look at that. I didn't do much with my green beans, guys. I was just getting too hungry. Usually, I dock them all up, but I just put a little salt and pepper on them. And um, I hope you guys give this a try. Check out Ibotta. My link's below in the little, um, you get $10 free, I get $10 free when you sign up with my link. And they got a lot of great deals. And then you can even link your Ibotta to your Walmart, I think in other stores, but I link mine to my Walmart. And it just gives me the money automatically. Once I spend it at Walmart, it just puts it over, transfers right over to the Ibotta app, and then you get your money. And so I hope you guys all try this. Try the Ibotta. Enjoy the dinner. Um, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. And um, as always, thanks for watching. And if you're new, thanks for stopping by and subscribe. And if you like what you just seen, give me a thumbs up. And as always, guys, be blessed.